Spring days like this tend to bring out optimism in Minnesota, but the weather doesn't explain why state leaders are encouraged. We are seeing uh, some pretty strong indications that uh, we're pushing that curve back. For example, from March 1st to March 18th, the Minnesota Department of Health says confirmed cases doubled every one to two days. But since the 18th, the week the governor began ordering closures through Stay Home Minnesota, doubling has slowed to every eight days. We need to keep this up so that we can reduce the chance that our health care system will be overwhelmed by a surge in cases. Speaking of that surge, the latest models from the University of Washington are suddenly showing more reason for optimism, now predicting that Minnesota will see a peak in hospital use in just 16 days and not have a shortage of regular beds, ICU beds, or ventilators. But one expert says it's way too early to start celebrating. People are missing the point of what's going to happen here. This is very first wave of cases. Dr. Michael Osterholm with the U of M Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy says this model requires strict distancing and lockdowns to keep numbers down. But he says testing will have to be expanded and restrictions slowly lifted as part of any long-term solution. Far too many people are approaching this like a single battle war. And this is actually many, many battles. We will, I believe, have eventually a, a relatively effective and safe vaccine. But none of that's coming soon. But what do you think it will take? What are just some of those steps that we'll need to take? In Minnesota, I'm very proud to say we actually have a governor's work group, which I sit on, addressing that very issue, working with the laboratories, clinicians, public health experts, and local and state public health people in general. It would be great if we had a national program that we're helping to coordinate and pull the best information together. But nonetheless, we're doing it here in Minnesota. Kent Erdahl, CARE 11 News.